All right, guys, today we got a treat for you. I bought this uh, blue Razor E300 for $10 on the side of the road one rainy day. Uh, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot. The motor and chain are completely rusted. I'm planning on running it on 36 volts. So just to give you an idea, we can plug it in on 36 volts just to see what this old 24 volt system will do. The motor's just completely jammed up. You can hear it click a little. It tries to roll. It's obviously way too slow and it has no torque. It won't even move anybody from a, stand, a standstill. So uh, it needs to be fixed. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I got a new motor. I got a 36 volt 800 watt controller. I have a new throttle that's variable instead of a constant, and uh, let's just see how it goes. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Scott, how come you couldn't overvolt an even girlier scooter? Well, I already did do that. If you see this right here, back in the day when I was doing the Kuberg build, I also helped a friend. Their daughter had a pink Razor scooter, and that was an even smaller model, and we overvolted it with a hoverboard pack, and it was awesome. It would smoke the tire right off it. Here are the new parts. So I ended up having to take the kickstand off and Dremel the kickstand mount off. The new motor is so big that it wouldn't fit with it here, so we had to remove it. So I just cut it out with a Dremel tool. All right, so I had to do new motor mounts. I had to drill holes. I ended up only drilling three because uh, they're just a pain to drill through that motor bracket. I had to make all new mounts since they didn't line up real close to the tire but there's a little room there it's not hitting probably about a quarter inch chain line looks pretty good now let's get this thing wired up I'm just gonna temporarily zip tie these wires so they don't keep falling out of the housing to get some sort of idea on how the batteries are going to fit. I didn't really think of that yet because I didn't really care. There's plenty of room in here. So I guess for now we're just going to do that and lay these two 8 amp hour, well the two 4.4 amp hour batteries like that just so we have room and the controller will fit right in this little corner here. Some things you gotta watch out for. These controllers are supposed to be plug and play. You see this charge port? If I plug it together, it fits perfectly. But if you look, the positive and the negative, they're reversed. So I'm gonna have to switch it on one of these connectors. All right, so these batteries are pretty dead. They're at 35.3 volts out of 42. But I think I got the thing figured out, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, nothing happens. You know, I actually gotta turn it on. Here's the on switch, and it lights up red. Let's see if it works now. No, it still doesn't work. There's just like a little key switch that I have to bypass, and right now I just have a little jumper in it, so it was probably a little messed up. faster than that, but I guess I'm only running 36 volts, so what do you expect? 
Oh, I got the bike charging. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a little faster, but I mean, the motor's twice the size, and we went from 24 to 36, but uh, still seems pretty weak. I don't know. We'll see what happens when the batteries are charged. But I uh, didn't even put a brake cable on it yet, and we might not need to unless the thing speeds up. So I made this sweet plywood platform really quick while the bike's charging, and I'm just going to drill two holes in it and secure it in place. Pretty awesome. All right, we're going to do a quick test of the bike. I just pumped up the tires. I got the batteries charged up to like 41 volts. No uh, yeah, there's no brakes. So be careful. It's powerful and near light. Just, there's no brakes. We're on flat ground right now, though, so you're all right. So let's see what happens. Oh God, I am not. I am not gonna. You said it was slow. Let's see how slow it is. Put your foot down. Yeah, I had to get the brake cable on there and put this little bracket. The brakes were on backwards. The whole like, the whole thing was spun around here. So I was putting the brake cable up to here, and I spun it. I spun it back around, and then I had to put this little bracket in here that I just had kicking around. Now it works, sweet. No, I was wondering why you were getting off of it. Like I was making that shot turn 